the parts and functions of the biosand filter. The biggest part of the biosand filter is the container. It can be made of concrete or plastic. The lid protects the inside of the biosand filter from insects and other things. Starting at the top, the water is poured into the reservoir, then flows through the diffuser. It has many tiny holes to slow the flow of water. Not all biosand filters are the same. Some have diffuser boxes. Others have diffuser plates, like this. Without the diffuser, Fast flowing water will disturb the sand and the bio layer below. Next is a layer of water called standing water. It should be about 5 cm deep, about the height of your knuckle. If the standing water is deeper than this, oxygen can't reach the bio layer. And if it's too shallow, the bio layer will dry out and die. If the standing water layer is in the right depth, be sure to contact the person that installed your filter for help. Below the standing water is the bio layer and the sand. The bio layer is at the top of the sand in the bio sand filter where many microorganisms live. You can't see them because they are too small. The next stop under all the sand is the separation gravel. It's a layer of small gravel that is just big enough to stop the sand from settling further down yet allows water to pass through. At the very bottom of the biosand filter is the drainage gravel, which prevents the separation gravel from blocking the outlet tube. This is where the water flows in, then up the tube, and drips down into a clean container. Wait a second. Make sure you never attach anything to the outlet tube. Much better. Now you know the parts of the biosand filter and what they do.